So there's no doubt that the great Stoics had some incredible philosophy, some incredible wisdom for living a powerful life, for living a fulfilled life where one can walk one's journey in strength, in power, and carrying peace all the way through to the finish line. And so often, it's the smallest things that we neglect. And in neglecting these small things, the big things are never unveiled to us. Today, I want to impart to you some ancient Stoic wisdom, a rule book, if you will, for conquering the fears of your life and maximizing your potential, making your dreams come true. Come on, friend, let me tell you all about it. Hello, wonderful you. Welcome to Elevate. I'm Ben and I love you. I'm thankful for your company. Thank you for coming around and helping me lift the collective vibe. I'm here all of the time sharing this sort of wisdom and knowledge with you. So make sure you're subscribed and that we are journeying together because today, today I want to share with you some of the most beautiful and simple wisdom that the Stoics blessed us with. It was Marcus Aurelius who said, live your whole life, your whole life, entirely by your own rules. Don't be swayed by outer forces. In fact, the quote was, live your whole life entirely unswayed by out of outside forces, but wholly in joy. Live your entire life unswayed by outside forces, but wholly in joy. How do you do this? I mean, do you live in the same world that I live in? where every day outside forces try to tempt you into something you know you shouldn't do, try to lure you into an argument when what you really want to do is to hold your peace and to carry it with you. And yet Marcus Aurelius says, live your whole life unswayed by outside forces and with a holy, joyful heart. He says, you have power over your mind not outside events. When you begin to recognize this, when you begin to become conscious of this, you will find your strength. See, the only power that you actually have, we fool ourselves, you and I, into thinking we have power over situations, power over events, power over people. Come on, let's get real, friend. We're all living in this human existence. We all make the same mistakes. We all try and climb a ladder. We all come at things with an agenda, and that's okay. That's part of navigating this experience. But the blessing comes, the joy comes, the freedom and the liberty comes when you move past that and you recognize that you can make a decision today to live your life in a way that is wholly unswayed by outside events. You can choose to live your life in total control over your mind instead of trying to control other people. Isn't it better? Isn't the value greater in controlling the language of your mind, the conversations that happen on the inside around a subject instead of controlling that subject? Friends, I'm here to tell you the value is significantly greater when you take your friends and your spouse and your family and your colleagues off the potter's wheel and you stop expecting change from them to suit you and instead you place yourself on the potter's wheel and as a person of service and as a spirit-led being, you say, here I am, willing to change. And something magical always happens when you stand before the majesty of the universe and the divine and you declare, I am open for change. I will no longer endeavor to change those around about me. I will not live my life focused on changing people and places and jobs and things and situations. Instead, all of my attention, I will turn unto myself. I will focus on how I respond to people. I will focus on the truth of my heart. I will control my responses, reactions to triggers and things. I will control my inner monologue. 
When you learn that you have absolute power over your mind and you have zero power over anything in the outside world, you will find strength. It sounds confronting initially because we believe we can control our way into what it is that we want. If I can just get at this angle, if I can just get this promotion, if I can just get this payout, if I can write this letter in such a way that gets the result that I want, if I can get through this phone meeting and get the result I want, if I can go to that meeting, convince them of this, then I'll be fine. If I can just do this, then I'll be fine. No, if you can just control your mind, if you can just control the inner monologue that's happening inside of yourself, then you will see a change in all that is around about you, in the people and the events and the circumstances and the things and the places, but none of them will change unless you change what's happening in your mind. You have no power over outside events. You have no power over people. You only have power over your mind and you can draw strength from this knowledge. Marcus Aurelius says, live your whole life unswayed by outside forces. Live your whole life unswayed by outside forces and with a totally and wholly joyful heart. That means when the boss comes and tears strips off you for something that wasn't even your fault, you can't be swayed by that. When you get home and your spouse wants to take issue with you over something, you can't let that steal your joy. Focus on what it is that you can control. Focus on what it is that you can make a difference with. That is what's happening inside of your mind. That is your inner conversation. Truly, I say to you, friend, if you will heed this advice, you will power through all of your difficulties. Your life will change for the better. You will find yourself in new relationships that are heading into a direction that is profitable for you. You will find yourself with dreams coming true and destiny unfolding. Why? Because we are not swayed by the outer world. Instead, we have total control over the inner world. Now, this doesn't mean that you are harsh with yourself and you are a bully with yourself. In fact, it means quite the opposite. It means you are soft and gentle and loving with yourself. Be unto yourself the support you wish you could get from another person. When you start delivering that beauty to yourself, when you start delivering that unconditional love for yourself, all of the drama and the stress falls by the wayside. Listen to these words. Don't be swayed by the outside world. Instead, live a life wholly dedicated to joy. You can't control the outer world and the people in it. What you can control is your mind and the inner monologue you have. Turn the corner with your inner monologue. Start paying attention to your inner conversation and ask yourself, is this conversation and the point that I am now dwelling in profitable for me? Is this moving me into the direction of my dream? Or would the value be greater in me doing the inner work now and changing this conversation? And then be brave enough to do it. You've got this. I love you, friend. God bless you.